Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's try some examples, a little bit more complicated than the previous, uh, the previous video. Here we have 3x plus 5x minus 2x. Well, there's three of them, plus five of them, three plus five is eight, and then we subtract two of them, eight minus two is six. So this simply becomes 8x minus 2x, and then 8x minus 2x is equal to 6x. Here we do it again. We have 3x plus 6x. When we add those two together first, we get 9x minus 5x is equal to, and 9x minus 5x is equal to 4x. Over here, we have 4x minus 3x. Well, that's equal to 1x. Now, do we write 1x or can we simply write x? And the answer is we can do either one. It is okay to write 1x, but most people simply write x. In other words, when we write 4x minus 3x, this is simple x, or for example, 5a minus 4a, this is simply a. Anytime you end up with just one of them, you don't have to write the one in front. Our last example here, we notice we have some parentheses. It is always advisable to work out what's inside the parentheses first before you do the subtraction. So this becomes 6x plus 5x, which is 11x minus 3x plus 4x, which is 7x. And that becomes 11 minus 7, which is 4x as the final answer. And that's, we do, that's how we deal with operations when they include variables. It's almost like just adding numbers, except we need to keep adding the variable at the end. And that's how it's done.